Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Glimpses of God. And today I'm going to share with you some amazing research that talks about the impact of being grateful, being thankful for the things in your life. And we'll also look at the Bible and gain a blessing about what the Bible says about being thankful. If you'd like to stay in touch with me in this channel, please subscribe. But first of all, yesterday I was shopping, we we're leaving the shopping mall and we're driving out through the car park and a young couple up ahead of me were trying to cross. And it wasn't a pedestrian crossing, but I slowed and stopped for them just to let them get across from one side to the other. And as they crossed in front of me, the young woman slowed and turned and smiled at me to say thank you. And you know, it was just a very small act of gratefulness, of thankfulness, but it really left me with a high. And you know, it brought a smile to my face and I left them all happier than when I arrived. And there's something special about being thankful and the impact that it has on yourself and those around you. Have you ever received a note of thanks? And how did it make you feel? Well, many years ago, my wife and I used to organize triathlons for kids. And we had the managing director of the company join us. And you know, we, we'd spent the day with him. He could see what we did. It was quite a busy day. So there was a team of us operating this event, setting it up, encouraging the kids to participate and live a healthy lifestyle. And a week later, after the event had finished, I got this note in the mail addressed to myself and my wife. And it was a handwritten note saying thank you from the managing director and acknowledging the work that my wife and I had done. Now, we were just doing our job and didn't expect anything like this. But it was wonderful to see this man just take the time, and he's a really busy man. He took the time just to acknowledge what we were doing, and it really made us feel quite special. You know, we can have this profound impact on people. You know, just by taking time to acknowledge the things that they do and to say thanks, it can really make a difference. There's a really interesting research project that was done by two psychologists, one from the University of Miami and another from the University of California. And what they did was they recruited a bunch of participants and broke them into three groups. The first group were to record and reflect on things that they were grateful for. So at the end of the week, they'd keep this diary and reflect and write down all those things that they were grateful for. The second group were to record the things that they were irritated about. And then the third group to record things that were neither positive nor negative, just things that had happened to them. Well, after 10 weeks, the researchers found that those who'd focused on things that they were grateful for were more optimistic, had greater levels of well-being, and in fact were exercising more and had less visits to the physician. So we can see this profound impact on our lives just by focusing on the positive things, by being grateful. Another research project that was done by psychologists from the University of Pennsylvania asked people to write a thankful note and deliver it to somebody who had never been properly acknowledged for something that they'd done. They'd never been properly thanked and to express gratitude to them by this handwritten thank you note. Well, what they found was those who delivered this note, wrote it and delivered it, exhibited a radical increase in happiness levels for weeks and months after delivering this exercise. It's amazing the impact that this exercise had on people. So we see having gratitude in our life can have an amazing impact on us when we're thinking about the positive, when we're being thankful. And it can also, of course, have a positive impact on the person receiving the thanks, the gratitude at the end of the day. And it's interesting to look at the life of Jesus and we see Jesus thanking God in his prayers for providing food in Luke 24, 30. We see Jesus thanking God for listening to him in John 11, 41 and for the opportunity to serve others in Matthew 26, 26 to 27. And we see in the Bible numerous examples of the importance of being thankful. I mean, you only have to look at Psalms. Psalms 136. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his mercy endures forever. 
to him who alone does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy endures forever. Psalms 100 verse 4 and 5 Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Philippians 4 verse 6 and 7 Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. While we do face challenges in life, while not everything goes our way, can you still be grateful and thankful for the good things in your life? You know, I was talking to my wife recently and I was sharing with her some of the burdens and struggles that I had. And she said, hey, don't let those things get you down. Think about the things that you can be happy about, that you're grateful about. And you know, just doing that shift really made a difference to myself. Focusing on the things that I can be thankful for at the end of the day. So here's a challenge for you for this week. Are there things that you're grateful for? Oh, why not turn to the Lord and thank Him for the blessings in your life? What about those people around you? Have you told them that you're thankful for the things that they do, for the people that they are? Tell them this week. And you may not change the world, but you'll certainly make a difference on their life and your own life. So, hope you've gained a blessing from today. And look, if there's anything that you're, you're thankful for, I'd love you to share them in the comments below. If you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe. Hope to see you again. Bye.